If you use the subway, you'll want to hear this. A new study says the air quality underground is so poor it compares to a walk through the polluted city of Beijing. Good afternoon. Every time a train rushes into a station, you are being bombarded with tiny particles while you stand on that platform. And it is the same particulate matter in smog. And a new study says the levels in Toronto's subway system are much higher than others around the world. CTV's Janice Golding joins us now live. She's at the Rosedale station, which, by the way, is one of the open air platforms, as you can see in the city, where breathing Janice is a heck of a lot easier. Ken, the study's co-author says that TTC riders should be aware of the findings, but they should not be alarmed. He adds also that people should not be deterred from riding the subway. More than a million people ride the subway every day, and every day they're being exposed to pollutants. Take an average day of air quality in Beijing, which is both the good days and the bad days, the Toronto subway system has air quality similar to that. Professor Greg Evans is the co-author of a study published in the Environmental Science and Technology Journal. His study found fine particulate matter about 10 times the level above ground, 95 micrograms per cubic meter. It does concern me because I know pollution levels on street level are not so good in itself. Obviously, like if it's true, yeah. Pollution is always bad no matter like where it is, obviously. You know. I guess I wouldn't be surprised. Um, kind of catches me off guard just a little bit. The study found the concentrations are three times higher than what can be found on the Montreal subway system and about five times higher than what can be found in Vancouver. A number of reasons for that. One is that the Vancouver subway, much of it is outside, and the Montreal subway has rubber tires and it has wooden brakes. In response, the TTC says the subway is still safe for customers and employees. Spokesman Stuart Green adding, this research was done in 2010 and 2011 at a time we had already started taking steps that will improve air quality on the trains and reduce certain pollutants in the underground stations. The TTC is improving and refurbishing HVAC systems and has plans for a tunnel vacuum car with a HEPA filtration system. Professor Evans says given people spend about an hour on the TTC every day, their exposure underground accounts for about 20% of their daily average exposure to fine particulate matter. Reporting live from Janice Golding, now back to Michelle. Thank you, Janice.